remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? The coronavirus is one of the most deadliest viruses in recent memory. And aside from the media frenzy it's causing, one of the most alarming things it has brought forth is many people's bad hygiene habits. Stores all across America are sold out of hand sanitizer, soap, paper towels, and toilet paper. This leads one to believe that perhaps people are just now starting to use these items when they should have been using them all along. The discussion on how to protect yourself from the virus came up as a topic of conversation on The Real, which is when one of the co-hosts, Adrian Bylone, found the worst heel imaginable to die on. Adrian revealed that she doesn't wash her hands after using the bathroom at home. Not only that, she says she's not going to start now. Her reasoning? It's her stuff, so what's the point? Apparently, Adrian doesn't believe germs can come through her door. <laughs> Adrian says that she doesn't wash her hands when she does a number one or a number two. This because only the toilet paper touches the yucky stuff. Is that nasty, family? I mean, maybe it's just me. You mean to tell me that this woman goes through the day, every day, using the bathroom, doing number one, number two, don't wash her hands. And she doesn't wash her hands when she's touching other things around the house because it's her stuff. She takes off her shoes. Maybe she touches the bottom of the shoe. She doesn't wash her hands. I don't trust her. I would not trust her cooking for anything in the world. Potlucks, oh, no way. She cooking something and bringing an item for the family reunion or a get-together? No way. Mm -mm. If she don't wash her hands when she uses the bathroom, she doesn't wash her hands when she cooks. She doesn't wash her hands when she prepares food. Yuck. Do y'all know anybody like that? Because I have never met, I don't think, well, I take that back. I'm sure I've met some dirty, nasty people who don't really pay attention to their hygiene, I'm sure. But I don't know anyone personally like that. Like, personal. I don't know anybody like that. Like, that's nasty to me. Now, luckily, there was some voices of reason during the discussion because her co-host looked at her like it was something very wrong with her. They pretty much looked at her like she was disgusting. I would advise the co-host, if they're going to stay on the job, to request that she uses her own bathroom, her own dressing room. I would not hug her. I would not shake her hand. I would also send a memo out to the guests. I think that it's incumbent upon the producers to make sure that the guests know this, that this is an unclean woman. I don't know where she got that from, but she's unlearned and she needs to clean up her act. This is disgusting. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.